Well, hey there. Welcome to day 1015 of What You Up To Now. Sharon Horn Elstrom here, documenting the journey, my business journey, as I transition from the brick and mortar world, the corporate world, to the online world. It's been over a quarter century in some of the coolest corporations on the planet, as well as, yikes, 47 years. From the time I was 13, I've run and had different businesses in at least 27 different industries. Lots of different industries, lots of different experiences. Some good, some bad, some really, really ugly. And I like to use this as my way of documenting my journey as I transition from the brick and mortar world to the online world. Uh, 2017, I had the opportunity after my divorce to go from all of my offline stuff and experience to the online world. And I was always curious about it. I thought, heck, this, they make it look so easy. All I have to do is push a couple of buttons, throw up a web page, and I will be a billionaire, right? And so I jumped in with both feet and learned that. There are so many pitfalls, just like in the offline world, so many pitfalls to creating a successful business. Uh, and it's so easy to get sucked into and sidetracked going down the many wrong possible roads that you can go down as you're creating your online business. And I wanted to make sure that I shared some of my experiences so that people wouldn't waste a year creating a course or a webinar that no one ever showed up for and then abandoning it before tweaking it, making it a successful um, campaign or launch. I wanted to share some of those experiences with people. So every day I started doing a video log of or a video journal of what I'm doing as I go through that that process. Now, you know, it's almost three years later. So much has happened. Tons of things have happened. And I, I'm continuing to learn and grow. And as I do that, I want to share that with you. So today we talked about uh, I'm doing a uh, no nonsense November. Every day in November, I'm hopping on and I'm sharing one of the many tools I have learned and used throughout not just my my business life, but my my personal life and my life in general that has really had a huge impact on me. Most of them I still use now on a regular basis, if not every day. I don't use all thirty every day, but some of them have been come so automatic and such a part of my daily routine that I actually do use them every day, and I don't really consciously say, oh. I am visualizing or, oh, I am expressing gratitude. I, I just automatically have built many of these tools into my daily operating procedures. We each have our own daily way of being, which is our own operating procedures of us as our coolest thing to operate. So talked about, uh, I'm talking about one of those every day in November. And then December 1st through 31st through the end of the year, we'll hop into the final get up and go 30 day challenge this year. It'll be our fifth 30 day get up and go challenge since COVID started. Just kind of my way of sharing the things that I've learned, sharing my favorite framework for guaranteeing that I have better results after any change or challenge than before I go into that change or challenge. And I've used it so much, so extensively that it's automatic for me. It's one of those those tools and those frameworks that I just automatically go through whenever I am faced with a change or a challenge or an upset or anything. I just automatically go through it. Uh, and we can use it anytime, anywhere on anything, right? I can use it on big things like how am I going to deal with the COVID pandemic and how I'm going to continue to work my way through that, which is what the Get Up and Go Challenge was born out of. Or I can use it for things as simple as I have several projects that I need to do or want to do, how do I prioritize them? I can use it for that as well. So look for that December 1st. We're going to do it again. It's free, of course. If you're curious or want to see what the past challenges have looked like, all of them are on the Get Up and Go Challenge page. It's free. We have a free Get Up and Go Challenge group, which you got to join because I want to make sure we're not going to spam because that's where you can find them in units. They're all in order. It's all laid out for you and you can just roll right through it. We just finished one in October, a 30 plus day challenge in October. So maybe you could just go back if you so desire and run through that and see if it is something that might be for you. I'm challenging myself in December to try to keep each day's video under 10 minutes. I Sometimes I can be over 10 minutes. Sometimes I can be under 10 minutes. And I was going to practice that through... Uh, the master, the no nonsense November, but I've already had a couple that have gone over 10 minutes because some of the tools require more than, especially if you've never been exposed to them, more than like a two minute explanation or a five minute explanation. Uh, so challenges, 365 day challenge to do one fun thing every day. Today was day 305 of our 365. So only 60 more days to finish up that challenge. And I don't think I could have picked a better overall topic or theme 
for a year, especially for the year 2020, than focusing on fun, looking for the things that are working, looking for the fun and the humor and the excitement and the the uh, curiosity that is around us all the time. But sometimes there's so much noise and so much going on around us, we forget to look at them, we forget to notice them. So every day we're looking for one fun thing. And today's was fun. It was about what were your top five classes or what are your top five subjects or classes that you've studied and learned about? And of course, being the math and nerdy engineering geek that I am, you know, it's logic, statistics, logic wasn't first, quality um, and sanitation, things that are, are actually really important big subjects right now. Math and sciences have always been my strong suit, uh, thus the engineer. But it can be kind of boring and stoic, right? So how do you how do you be who you are, given that that's been your structure and your education? It's, it's kind of fun. You do weird videos as, as in your pajamas for two years. <laughs> I did that up till COVID-19. I was pajama grandma and I I wanted to slough that persona off and just be me, but I was resisting it because I'd done so much as Pajama Grandma. My podcast is still called Pajama Grandma Podcast, and in that, I do all of my different segments, the 365-Day Fun Challenge, the Super Size Your Business, Idiom a Day, which that's going to change. I just did that as a way to get me through my move, but now 600 and some days, I think 615 into it, it's like, all right, how am I going to switch this up, and what do I want to change it to? Um... I do a, a version of, of the Super Size Your Business, a practice version on my Facebook profile just to practice and, and think of ideas and get my, my, my mind flowing on the topic of the idiom for the day. And then I do that again. with I do that with respect to just life in general. And then on the Super Size Your Business page, I make it specific to you running and growing and supersizing and building your own business. Um, so we got fun, we got super size, we've got, um, oh, the, the No Nonsense Challenge was about masterminding today, masterminding and the Mastermind Alliance and how I use that. So one of my favorite tools, I actually used it today, given all the craziness that's going on in the world, how should I react and respond to that? I ask my mastermind a question and then I get everybody's feedback. And so that's really um, an interesting and fun way to um, create and use tools that whether they're real or imagined, they're very, very powerful and helpful for us in our everyday life, as well as in our businesses and careers and all of our endeavors, all actually, all areas and aspects of our life. I have a, a different team that comes into play depending on what area or aspect of my life I'm tapping into them. So physical, mental, emotional, spiritual, financial relationships and contribution, each of those areas of my life, I have a different group. I have like a hundred different people in my 50 to a hundred people at any given time in my mastermind alliance and I pull in to that the questioning who I need for that particular topic uh, so I love the I love the mastermind technique learned it of course from Napoleon Hill and think and grow rich and then realized that he had actually written about it and used it in previous and was a developing concept in previous works of his that culminated in the 1937 uh, version in think and grow rich which if you haven't read it uh, any area or aspect of your life. I think it's a book everybody should have read and consumed at least once in their life. I read it. It's one of those books. There's very few books that I can go back and, and, and refer to over and over and over again, but that's one uh, that I recommend to everybody. If you haven't read it, read it. There, you know, there aren't very many books that I recommend to people. But that is one. And, and for good reason, for a lot of reasons, it's actually the foundational book in my mind of every other personal growth and development uh, science and study and method and teaching and course and coaching program, everything. It has got the foundational concepts of everything in it if you read it and you look for those things. So I made a commitment yesterday that I would finish my book by Friday. And yesterday I did zero work on it. So today I'm going to have to spend some time after I get out for a walk in the beautiful sunshiny day because I heard it's going to snow here and the weather's going to change very rapidly. I want to get outdoors today. I need some fresh air and some vitamin D, a little more than I got yesterday. And I then will come back and work on that book project that I've been, I've been dabbling on. But I took a, a course last week, Thursday and Friday, about how to, how to write an ebook in seven days. So guess what? Now I know it's so possible that I don't have any more excuses. And I will have it done by Friday and ready for some peer review, some peer feedback. So if you're interested in taking a look at that and helping me out, that would be awesome. It'll be about challenges, of course, since that's sort of been my main focus for the last 
since probably 2018, that's been my focus. So for a couple of years now, that has been my focus uh, is challenges because I've been doing them all my life and I've had to face a lot of challenges that other people haven't. And uh, it's made me more resilient and stronger because I know that whatever happens, I'll, I'll figure it out. There's always a way to make what we want to have happen, happen. All right. Have an awesome day. Any questions? Hit me up in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll be with you tomorrow. Bye.